You there, Sky. I see you skulking around like a ghost. Where have you been? I've been out spying on the Lotus Assassins. We we're trying to draw their attention, and I wanted to see if it was working. Hmm. I'm happy to report our bait has snagged a fish. The Inquisitors have taken notice of us. In fact, one of their representatives is on his way here now. You were spying on an Inquisitor, and he didn't notice you? Impossible. What's really going on, Sky? Where were you? Relax. Sky told us where he was. The Inquisitors are masters of espionage and intrigue, Sky. They would have seen you tailing them. They would have seen you and killed you. You underestimate me. I can be quite invisible when necessary. I followed the Inquisitor for some time without him being aware of my presence. Then I slipped away and rushed on ahead to warn you he was coming. I didn't want him to catch us in the middle of anything incriminating, like this argument. Hmm. Enough. I think I hear someone coming. So, you have an interest in the Lotus Assassins. Very few people risk our attention by seeking us out in public. I find your bold nature refreshing, but we under Death's hand recruit only the very best. All others are cast down before us. So I ask, why have you sought us out? Why shouldn't I just kill you where you stand? You could try to kill me. You'd fail, but you could try. You dare to threaten a Lotus Assassin? The bravery of such a reckless act is impressive, though I wonder about the intelligence behind your words. But your point is well taken. You have shown some inkling of promise merely by drawing our attention, but that alone is hardly proof of your worth. Obviously, we require some type of test, proof of loyalty, before any can join. You must prove yourself useful to us before we can consider you. What would you want me to do? There is a small problem I intend to deal with. A minor annoyance, but one that could prove a good test of your value to the organization. Judge Feng of the Ministry of Harmony has made a bit of openly defying our order. In the past, we have tolerated him, as few pay his accusations any heed. Judge Feng has a rather unsavory reputation. Because of this degenerate ap appetites, most have dismissed his warnings out of hand until now. What changed? A certain master named Shang is coming to make his annual report. Shang has information about certain activities our group wish, wishes to keep from the public. If Judge Fang learns of these activities from Shang's reports, he may have enough evidence to cause real problems for us. We would like to have to con we would have to take drastic action, but we prefer to deal with these things before they become problems. I was going to do this myself, but this could be an opportunity to prove yourself. You want me to steal? The what would you want me to do? Minister Shang is staying in the new ministry hostel in the wealthy district of the city. Judge Fang spends most of his time at the arena watching the fights. The ultimate goal is to prevent Minister Shang from delivering his report to Judge Fang. How you accomplish that is up to you and is the true essence of this test. Remember, an inquisitor is not a common thug. We leave that to executioners. We know that disgrace is a far greater punishment than death. Do not expect any help from the Lotus Assassins with this task. You will have to prove you can succeed on your own before we consider you for our organization. I have questions. There will be no questions. I have given you all the information you need to succeed. You are on your own. Don't let Shang give his report to Judge Fang. We will be watching you from afar. Once you have completed your task, I will meet you back here. You know, far be it from me to presume, but I have an idea of how we might be able to solve this problem. Go on. What's your plan? My glorious wife's third cousin is a minor official in the Ministry of Harmony. I know a little something of the way Judge Fang conducts his business. All of Fang's ministers bring him an honor gift when they go to see him. An offering given as a sign of respect. A, uh, a bribe, some might call it. Okay. If we replace Shang's honor gift with something insulting... Uh, rare turtle eggs, for example. Fang would be so outraged he'd refuse to even listen to Shang's report. Turtle eggs? Where are we going to find turtle eggs? I admit there are still some details yet to be worked out, but uh, acquiring the eggs is easy. I have some here that you can simply have. You have turtle eggs here? After just saying they are very rare? 
Well, I, I was saving them for my coming anniversary. You buy early if you want them to be... Uh, right. It doesn't really matter, does it? There are more daunting problems to consider. For example, uh, how will you sneak past Sheng's guards to make the switch? We should just kill Sheng. Nice and simple. Kill his guards, too. Bit of a problem. Oh, yes. And while we're at it, we could kill Fang and his guards, too. Unleash rivers of blood in the streets, all in the service of the Lotus Assassins. Now that is how you interrupt the bureaucratic process. I'm all for it. I'm not. I think Zoo was being sarcastic. I am no coward, but there is already more blood on my hands than I can ever wash clean. You know this. I have no plan for you. No easy answer. But working with the Lotus Assassins is a bad idea. No good can ever come of it. We really don't have any choice, Zoo. It's the only way we'll ever rescue Master Li. I don't like the idea of causing trouble for Shang. Maybe we should investigate Fang in the arena first. We might be able to stop him from getting that report without hurting Shang. Or anyone else. Maybe you're right, Dawnstar. Okay. I just hope that in the end we don't sacrifice everything for the sake of one man. Even if he is your... Beloved Master Li. It's up to you how we handle this. But remember that the Inquisitors aren't just thugs, they're more subtle. How do you feel about the plan to join the Assassins? I need your knowledge. It is a foolish idea. You do not understand the seductive nature of the Assassins and what they do to recruits. Enlighten me. It does not take much to make a person forget who they are. With a little effort, they can be pushed past any morals they might have claimed. Mm. Cloaked in service and honor, even the most depraved of barbarity soon becomes unremarkable. I will find a way to enter without participating in their foul ways. A naive assumption. Perhaps you can avoid direct participation, but their fanaticism will still affect you. The rot that is Death's hand permeates the complex. He was made our leader during the raising of Dirge. He replaced Sun Kin, who along with the glorious strategist, never returned from that campaign. I did not serve Death's Hand long, but when the orders came, he never questioned. The connection is more direct than loyalty, and he instills that in his Lotus Assassins. That is how so many were driven to kill without cause, and why I decided no more. So why does this trouble you so much? You've killed many before and since. There was more to that event. You are right to sense it. But I have kept my silence for so long that I must carefully consider the repercussions of breaking it. I must inevitably deal with my demons. Your destiny demands it. But I must also know that those demons will be put to rest, not exploited. For many years, I did nothing. If I had known Master Lee was the glorious strategist, so much could have been resolved one way or another. In the end, I will have to trust that you are enough his student to find a way to protect what I cannot. We each have our own path. I will listen when you are ready. So you claim. I am not accustomed to words having such weight. We should... We should resume your mission. You have far to go. Yes? What do you need? I'd like to get that business with Minister Shang out of the way. She worries about the poor minister, a man she would despise in any other circumstance. Did you want to talk? Your feelings are pretty important to me. I don't want to seem ungrateful for her help, but having Sir Fox here is causing me some concern. I mean, she is the daughter of the Emperor, and we do not know his role in Master Li's capture. Can she be trusted? What concerns you? She has shown me only goodwill. To you, perhaps, but not to me. I think I am perceived as a rival, but no one has told me what the game is. I think she's jealous of you. The princess? The daughter of the emperor is jealous of me? <laughs> I think the size of our task has addled your senses. What could I possibly have that would make her jealous? What does a woman from the borderlands have that the princess herself does not? My interest? What? I'm sorry. You caught me off guard for a moment. You didn't know? I've heard console often enough. You have always been a good friend to me, but I never meant... I, I mean, I couldn't... No. No, I should have more control over this. This is too uncertain. You can't manipulate me into admitting something like this. 
Not when you can leave whenever you want. We've already established that we have no home. How could I leave? Don't juggle your words. I am not amused by it. You know very well what I mean. It's probably at the front of your mind all the time for all I know. You fear the end of what has barely begun. Where does this reluctance come from? I prefer to have more control over myself, and as much control over what goes on around me as possible. Silk Fox, or whatever she wants to be called, is an unknown I can't compensate for. I can't stay in balance if I don't know what she represents. Oh, gotcha. You and I, we talk and share thoughts, but she forces me to consider where that might lead, both good and bad. I'm not ready for that. So, so Fox forces you to consider where our talks might lead? I'd have to thank her. <sighs> don't you dare! Oh, you tease so much, I don't know what to do with you. You've become so different since we left Tea Livers. <laughs> or perhaps it is me. For all the trouble we face, I feel like a weight is lifting. I think we will have a great deal more to discuss in the coming days. I'm looking forward to it. Until then, thank you for being so understanding. Master Lee was right. You are special. Well, it looks like your contact with the Lotus Assassins will be bad for your reputation, but good for our goal. I can't agree with this. You don't know what you're getting into. You don't know the danger they represent. Really? What did you see while hiding in your swamp? I've observed Death's Hand for years, both in the palace and elsewhere. You could have four faces and a different name and wardrobe for each, and you still wouldn't understand. Death's Hand is not what he seems. Then what, pray tell, is he? I don't know, but his power does not come from study or skill. He is something darker, and we should not be trying to enter his lair. It sounds like Sagacious Zoo wants to go back into hiding, or perhaps the nursery? Pay no attention, not everyone is as weak as he is. Hey. I will do what I must, regardless of you both. You don't know what they are capable of. The matter is settled. Go sulk in the corner like you're accustomed to doing. This is not helping anything. Are we any closer to getting to the Lotus Assassin so this accursed woman will help us find Master Lee? Oh, she spits fire at last. Now I see how the child left her little village. She has some spirit in her after all. And surprisingly, she's right. You've made contact with the Lotus Assassins, but haven't shown them why they need to fully accept you. The Inquisitor has a task for you to prove your worth. Get to it and show him why you should be recruited. You could also seek out the Executioner in the arena. He would be interested in your skill as a combatant. Is there something troubling you? Your feelings are important to me. Your progress is admirable, but don't become too close to the Lotus Assassins. Their power is seductive. That is how Death's Hand gained influence over my father. If that annoys you, I can see. Tell me about it. After the disappearance of my uncle, Sun Kin, the Hand of Heaven, the Imperial Order of the Lotus Monks was directionless. Instead of taking on that role himself, my father gave it to an advisor. Death's hand. I was only a baby at the time. So why didn't your father take th the role for himself? Who was Death's hand before? I don't know. I have made inquiries, but no one had seen or heard of him before he rose to power. He was like a lotus assassin even then, hiding in the shadows. Regardless, the lotus monks were placed in the care of Death's hand, a duty reserved for royalty. It was almost as if my father took Death's Hand into our family. My family. We have been caretakers of the Empire for generations. We have created a bastion of culture in an otherwise uncivilized world. Death's Hand threatens all of this. It is my duty to see that the natural order is preserved. Mm, that is your duty. But what about who you are? Tell me about yourself. About... about me? Why? I mean, there's so much I've told you already. I really don't think that we need any more information to complete our mission. Well, the princess and her duties interest me less than the woman behind them. Oh. Well, I suppose I could answer a few questions. Although I'm sure more than enough has been said about me by the peasants or others, I am quite used to defending myself from all quarters.
What do they say? That she is a Hellion? She flees in the face of tradition? Am I really that way? Perhaps I appear to be, but only because I have no other way to fight what is happening. I care deeply about the traditions of this land. It pains me to go against what I try to protect. What other choice do I have? I hope the people speak of other things. How I try to make things right. Well, I'm sure they say the princess has the authority to command, yet the wisdom to listen to advice. You presume a great deal. Can you really have seen this in such a short time? Those are qualities I would like to say I have, but I am not certain that I do. I have little time for listening when I seem to be fighting the very system of which I am a part. <laughs> don't worry, I'll keep you grounded. You? Well, you might. I don't know what the future will bring for us. Do you think yourself worthy of reminding me of what is important? To keep me humble? My father will take a dim view of that. <laughs> I'll be whatever you wish me to be. Wait, this is further than I thought this conversation would go. This is not proper. I will not allow it. You presume too much. I think we have had quite enough amusement for now. Perhaps, perhaps we will continue this a little later. I have enjoyed our